Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. If you didn't have enough reasons for avoiding the Thai Immigration Detention Center, and I've been down there for business purposes on behalf of clients in a professional capacity multiple times, and the waiting room itself, not a place I like to be in. Those people are perfectly professional and nice folks that are working down there, but, but the waiting room itself, it's, it's a little antiquated. It's definitely a government office, not some place I really want to go, but boy, detention is some place you don't really want to be, and that's a good reason to avoid going there by staying in Thai immigration status. But a recent article brought this point home even further. A recent article from the Bangkok Post, bangkokpost.com, article is titled, 297 Migrant Detainees Test Positive for COVID. Quoting directly, the Center for COVID-19 Situation Administration on Monday reported almost 300 foreign immigrants at the Immigration Bureau's detention center in Suwon Plu and Bang Ken have contracted COVID-19. Quoting further, there have been no reports of infections among immigration officers, the doctor said. So a lot going on in that video again, or excuse me, a lot going on in that article. Again, it's titled 297 migrants detained test positive, My, excuse me, sorry, 297 migrant detainees test positive for COVID, bangkokpost.com. Yeah, uh, you can go to the immigration de detention center if you are in overstay in Thailand, if you commit a crime in Thailand, and you've dealt with the Thai courts and you're being deported. We have dealt with a number of cases involving deportees here in Thailand, and it is an unfortunate set of circumstances to find oneself in, but for just one more reason to avoid it would definitely be the fact that the situation down there seems pretty bad with respect to this overall, you know, this overall pandemic set of circumstances we're having to deal with. Now, they, as they've noted in this, in, this vi in this article, it appears that there haven't been any deaths and they are taking substantial steps. They're moving folks that are in that, in that facility to a campsite center where you know, they, can, they can deal with you know, sanitary conditions, hygiene and everything, so that, and, and treat all these folks so that everybody sort of can get back, I guess, to being detained. I don't mean to make light of this, but yeah, they, uh, you know, they're gonna have to go back into detention, presumably, eventually, or get deported. They, they might, you know, they might actually expedite some deportations uh, because maybe they just don't, you know, want to put those people back into the system. Again, all that remains to be seen, but, you know, for purposes of this video, one more reason to avoid the immigration detention center and keep yourself from going into overstay, maintain your visa status, you know, for lack of a better term, at all costs, because the consequences can be dire.